Hey what's going on guys, it's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you the absolute best way to make money in GTA 5 online right now. And the best part is, everybody can do this. Even if you are not a high level, even if you don't own a lot of things in game, you're still able to do this which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to go and enter the giveaway I'm doing on my Twitter right now if you guys are watching this way further in advance to like a week from when it was posted don't worry we'll probably be doing another giveaway very soon so just go check my twitter see if there's a tweet pinned to my profile just follow the steps and then comment your platform and you're entered to win and of course i am giving away packages that are from digazani so if you guys do want to buy any of those packages go check them out down below in the description you guys can get 10 percent off everything that they have on their website by using code frolix Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and without further ado, let's get it started. So the very first thing, you're going to need a vehicle that has weapons on it. So if you're low level and you don't have one, come over to the airport and just drive past the helipads over and over, and eventually you're going to see a buzzard spawn in. You're just going to want to grab that and keep it with you. Try not to blow it up because then you'll have to go and get another one, but if you don't have any weaponized vehicles, the buzzard is definitely going to be worth it for you guys. So go ahead and grab yourself one of these. So in the past, I've gone over this topic before, and it's obviously doing the VIP missions and terabyte missions. And as you guys know, this week, it's double money for VIP and CEO work. So obviously doing that can make you a ton of money. You can get like 40 or 50K, even up to 60K from doing certain VIP and CEO missions. And I'm just going to be showing you guys that you really can do these quick. And it all depends on the missions themselves. Now, the mission that I'm doing is the first one that you would do in this cycle and this mission is called sightseer where you have to go and do these hacks on your phone and then you go and retrieve packages you guys should already know that if you've played this before and as you guys know the packages will spawn anywhere on the map now for me each package spawned literally at opposite sides of the map and I had to fly like four miles between packages which will take a lot longer but like I said it all depends on the mission itself. Sometimes it'll spawn the packages super far away and sometimes it'll spawn them all literally in the city or sometimes it'll spawn them like one far away and then the other ones are like a mile apart so then you can complete it very quickly. Now during this one I managed to complete it in roughly five minutes but that's because all the packages were far away from each other so if you guys were able to start up the mission and the packages were just a normal distance like let's say three miles then two miles then one mile away from each other that's a total of six miles, which would only take you probably about three minutes, maybe four minutes to complete if you have a vehicle that you can fly it. And currently this week, this mission will make you $44,000 from completing it. So that means you can complete it in about four minutes and make $44,000. That's roughly 11 grand every minute, which is pretty damn awesome. So obviously doing sights here is the first thing that you guys are going to want to do. Like I said, make sure you got that buzzard or whatever flying weaponized vehicle you have. Go become a VIP. I believe you only need 50k to become a VIP. So become one, start up the mission, finish it, and then you're going to do this next. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why the gameplay looks a little different, it's because I had to record part of this on my PS4 instead of my Elgato because it kept crashing. But anyways, if you guys have a terabyte, then you guys are going to want to do this. Come inside your terabyte, go over to this touchscreen computer, and then go and start up the mission called Diamond Shopping or Robbery in Progress. It doesn't matter which one, just start up one of them. Now, if you are a low level and you do not have this, there's going to be about a 4 minute and 30 second or 5 minute wait time before you can start up VIP work again, which is why you want to do this because after I actually completed this mission I still had to wait about two minutes before I could start up another session of VIP work and I made $30,500 from it so if you are a low level and you don't have a terabyte and you can't do these missions that's fine if you're in a public lobby and you have more people inside of your CEO then maybe do a challenge or something like that like a race challenge where you can get 10k or like a most wanted challenge or go steal some crates or something like that and yeah but this mission is super simple don't worry about losing the cops either all you gotta do is just fly to the location like I said and then by the time you get there you will have lost the cops which can save you a little bit of money in the long run if you continue to spam these missions and like I said you can complete all of these missions if you do it properly in about 15 minutes as long as you have a buzzard and like I said you could be a low level and have a buzzard just go and grab one from the airport so if you do have a terabyte you're definitely gonna want to run this mission along with two other missions in this set of four so you can make a ton of money every single hour so now that you guys are done the first mission and the terabyte mission you guys 
are want to go and start up another CEO work and that CEO job is going to be called Headhunter. Now when you guys start it up there's going to be four targets you need to kill. What I suggest doing is clicking options, looking at the map and going in a circle. You guys can see all of my targets are kind of in a U shape so I'm going to go and kill one, two, three, four just like that really quickly. Now doing this mission can be very very simple but it can also be very complicated especially if the targets are very far apart from each other. Now for me I messed up a lot when I was doing this and it took me a lot longer to do mainly because I am dumb and also the oppressor will run out of rockets which will screw you guys over a ton especially if the targets are hidden in areas just like mine are here you guys can see they're in this little tunnel or whatever so honestly it all depends on where the targets are and you might end up wasting a lot of rockets because you only have I believe 20 rockets with the oppressor so it will make a huge difference in the end but the average person will be able to complete this mission in roughly around 3 to 5 minutes. And if you're new to the game, most likely between 5 to 7 minutes. So practice doing some of these missions and eventually you'll be able to pick them up a lot quicker. Like I said, if you have a buzzard though, it's a lot easier. You could just hover in the air, lock onto the targets and just keep spamming missiles, never having to worry about losing or running out of missiles. So then you have to go and restock them and it really just does make a huge difference. And then once you complete this mission, you'll end up making another $44,000, which is insane. You guys just made another 44 grand from completing this simple mission by just shooting a couple of people. Then once you guys have completed this, there's one more mission in this loop that you guys are going to want to do, but of course it does require a terabyte, so if you don't have one, you're literally just going to want to keep spamming Sightseer and Headhunter over and over and over again, because they are the absolute quickest missions that you guys can do in this game. You guys can see a clear difference between the gameplay captured on Elgato and captured on PS4. Like, look at the difference in color. Like, PS4 just looks so washed out. I hope the PS5 has a better recording software built in. But anyways, if you guys do have a terabyte, go back to your terabyte, start up the mission called Robbery in Progress. Now this mission can take only like 3 minutes to complete, but the reason why it'll take so much longer is because on this touchscreen computer, you guys have to try to find the bank and find the robbery. Now the reason why it takes so long is because it takes like 10 seconds to switch between cameras at the bank. So it all depends on luck. You guys just click left or right on the d-pad, if you find the bank quickly, like in the first 10 seconds, you guys are blessed. You'll be able to complete this in like 3 minutes if you're experienced, and if you're not experienced and you just purchased a terabyte after watching this video, then you're most likely going to complete it in probably about 5 minutes. Like I said, all of these missions, you will probably complete in under 5 minutes. Some of them will only take you like 2 minutes, maybe 2 minutes and 30 seconds to complete, but if you are newer to the game, it'll take you a little bit longer, and then you'll make a lot less money per hour, but the more you play them, the more you'll practice them, the better you'll get at them, and then you can make even more money every hour. Like I said, right now when I was doing this, I actually made $500,000 in one hour, okay? And that's from doing these four missions. And like I said, I screwed up so many times. So if you guys aren't dumb and you're actually good at playing this game, you'll be able to make a lot more money than I did. And when I did add in travel time and everything, it took me about roughly 18 minutes to complete all of these missions. So if you guys want to do it, you can probably complete this in a lot less time, maybe even 15 minutes if you guys are really lucky. So honestly, it's all up to you guys about how fast you're going to complete them. If you want to take your time with it, that's perfectly fine. Get some practice in, but if you're experienced and you want to go and do this very quickly, you'll probably be able to complete it in 15 minutes or less. And then you'll get a major profit of probably like six hundred to seven hundred thousand dollars per hour if you guys complete it fast. If you don't complete it fast, you're not going to make anywhere near that money. That is like the max amount of money that you can make from doing this per hour and it's only for the most experienced people. So if you're new to the game, you're most likely going to be making 400 to 500k per hour, and you'll probably do even better than me because I'm honestly just terrible. Like, look at my aim when I was doing this mission. Like, I even managed to blow up my helicopter, and I also died. And that's one bad part about the helicopter using a buzzard. When you get out of it, it takes longer than it takes to get out of an oppressor or something like that. So the cops and everybody just obliterated me really quickly. But if you guys do it and you know what you're doing and you're not dumb, you can complete this a lot faster than I did. Let me know in the comments section how long it took you roughly to complete all of these missions. If you're experienced, I'm gonna estimate it probably took you between two minutes all the way up to four minutes to complete each mission. And if you're not experienced, probably from three minutes to about six minutes to complete each of these missions.
But that is pretty much gonna wrap everything up in this video. I hope it helped out some of you new players out there. It's really easy to make a lot of money in this game. You just gotta know exactly which missions that you wanna play. Like before it used to be playing Rooftop Rumble and things like that. But nowadays it's doing VIP work, CEO work, and pretty much anything other than actual Rockstar created missions in the jobs tab. But anyways guys, that is gonna wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching it. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you guys do want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to go and enter that giveaway that I'm doing on my Twitter right now. There's two days left that you guys can actually enter to win, so make sure you go and do that right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.